Hi, I'm Gershom Deconing from Deconing Tan. Today's video is just about the tables, which is a new VST that I just released on Pianobook. It's in decent sampler format, and I just wanted to show people how easy it is to take a found sound, like the tables that I found, and convert that into a decent sampler instrument. I'm going to be showing my process, uh, which had a little bit of extra steps because I put it in Reason, which is my DAW, first, and then I ended up porting that to a decent sampler by hand. Um, but I just wanted to show people that, you know, music is everywhere and you can use so many different things as a musical instrument if you just have the knowledge and the power to do so. If you want an in-depth tutorial on Decent Sampler, I recommend you go to Dave Hillowitz's YouTube. I'll put a link below uh, because he really goes in-depth of how to program it. My video is more to show the basic process of how you make your own VST from a sound that you found somewhere. Cool. Enjoy. So I found some tables and they're made of like ceramic and I find that if I tap them it sounds a lot like tune percussion so I'm going to sample them. I'm going to sample these guys and see how they sound. Could be tuned percussion. So here we go. Here you can see all the samples that I had. The first thing I had to do was take the files which I had recorded on my phone and change the names. What I did was I opened a piano um, instrument on my DAW and I listened to each sample with the piano uh, notes as well. And then I would try to figure out by ear at what pitch these different tables were. So as you can see here, I have E1 and an E2, C3, E3, A sharp, third. Uh, so the letter refers to the note, and the number after the letter refers to what octave it is on on the piano. Uh, you can see there's little numbers before that as well. There is um, a first number. So you have 28 there, as well as 48 and 52, 58. That number refers to the MIDI note position. So each MIDI signal input comes on a different number. And so they've numbered the entire keyboard with a different number. You can just look that up online and you can find a whole list of MIDI notation numbers. So you can program that in. So the reason I did that is it makes the process later on a lot easier. It seems tedious while you're doing it, but once you've done it, it actually saves you work later on. Once I have these things, I also uh, have each note multiple times. So there are four round robins. In the end, I could only use a limited amount of the round robins I had. I ended up using three for most of my samples. Um, but the round robins, uh, a round robin is essentially a, a, the same sound or the same note, but a different iteration of it. So when you play a guitar or a cello, no note ever sounds exactly the same because sound is produced differently each time. Um, and that's why some VSTs that you hear, some digital instruments that you hear, sound terrible. They sound like a machine gun because they have no round robins. And for some instruments, that's fine. You don't really notice. But for uh, other instruments, it really ends up being uh, percussive sounding and machine gun-like. So like th 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 it sounds like the same note is hit every single time. And that's why round robins change the sound ever so slightly, and it makes it sound more natural and, and realistic. Once I had those, I actually first went into my DAW, which is Reason, which you can see right here. And as you can see here, I have uh, the NNXT version of the tables, which is available on my website. If you are a Reason user, you can get that for free on my website. So here I can change the size of the room so I can make that reverb size bigger and I can make it also sound massive if I want. So here's just my basic reverb. And I can make it big. I personally like it right about there.
Now, the key thing is um, the uh, dirt, uh, the amount of pulverization I'm using also changes the amount uh, that this can distort when you add a lot of reverb to it. So you can get a really heavy distortion in there or very mild distortion. You can also add tremor. So all in all, it becomes a percussive instrument that can have texture. Uh, here's the echo. So all these things are super cool. Um, but this is not decent sampler yet. This is all in reason. So upon realizing that the that the essential files needed some sort of effect layered on to make them fuller and sound richer, I realized I wanted to take the basic settings, which was a little bit of dirt and uh, a little bit of the reverb, just a tiny bit, and sample those. So what I did was I went through as much as the keyboard uh, as I thought sounded good, and I then put that into Decent Sampler. So here you can see Sublime Text. Sublime Text is basically a fancier text editor, and it gives you nice colors and allows you to batch edit things. Again, if you want to learn how to program a program for Decent Sampler, you need to go to Dave Hillowitz's channel, and he gives a detailed uh, explanation, which is what I followed as well. Um, you can see that I have to tell the root note that the note is played on, and then the low note and the high note. So what I did was I just went up the... Uh, scale and uh, didn't do the black keys, just the white ones. And so uh, there is a single sample for two notes and it still sounds nice, even though it uh, doesn't have a lot of round robins because the instrument is quite percussive and it's also been uh, influenced by effects a little bit. It still has a nice pleasant tone. It doesn't sound too um, machine gun-like, too repetitive. And um, this one doesn't have different dynamic layers. It's uh, a free instrument I'm putting out, so and I didn't want to spend too much time. Um, whereas the Reason version does have a little bit more dynamic layering, uh, this one doesn't. So um, we've got all the sample notes there labeled in, and then I added the effects down here. And then at the end, you add uh, like the effect type. So you're essentially labeling which knob is which effect type. And I put that all in. Now, because Decent Sampler has different effects options than Reason, I wanted the Decent Sampler one to still stand on its own and have some options for the user to be able to change the sound if they wanted. So here we have the Decent Sampler version of the instrument. If I'm correct, the phaser actually starts on a little bit, so you have to give that knob a little wiggle to get it to be completely off. So the Decent Sampler version is a little bit more limited in its range. It doesn't go up quite as high, and that's because uh, in the Reason version, with the effects, the upper range still sounds quite pleasant, uh, but with less effects, uh, it's not as evocative and not as nice. Um, so I decided to, to limit the range a little bit for the Decent Sampler version because it just sounded better. Um, you can see here, It's got nice reverb, and you can add tons of reverb. So it can become a little bit more like a texture, or you can go for more of a tuned percussion sound. It's got a frequency filter, so if you want to change and get less of certain sounds in there, you can. And then it's got also the option for delay, which if I turn the reverb off, So, so you can still get that little bit of texture in there, which you get with uh, Reason as well. And the phaser, which I thought was a nice touch. Now I could have also added a phaser on Reason, Reason does have phasers, but I felt that the effects on the Reason version were already unique enough and allowed for changes. And Reason users that are a little more advanced could easily add a phaser in themselves if they wished uh, later on in the process. 
So this is the decent sampler version and a little demo of the NNXT version as well of the tables. It's a simple tuned percussion instrument that just is fun, whether you're adding texture or layering or using it more as a straight up tuned percussion. Uh, it's free on Piano Book. You can go download it there or you can download it from my website, decodingcotton.com. Um, either way, if you use it, I'd love to hear from you about what it was like, uh, things you like about it, even things you don't like about it that can help me improve in the future. Um, yeah, it's free, so have fun with it. And Decent Sampler is free as well. You can find that on decentsamples.com. You can just put the plugin into your cart and get it for free as a free download. It's a great. Dave Hillowitz, thank you for this amazing software that you've made that allows so many more people access to good quality samples and fun music making, essentially. And also a thank you to Fred Poirier. Uh, he has helped me with figuring out uh, a lot of the stuff in the programming. So a uh, shout out to Fred as well in the process. I would like to um, actually play you out with a song that uses the tables uh, and you might recognize it if you're a bit of a gamer.